red flags you are texting a narcissist. When the narcissist first targets you, they will usually have a lot to say in their text messages, but some of them will hold back. Some of them will use the push-pull tactic. But the love bombing phase is often when you will get the truth about how they really feel about you. They may say that you are nice. They may say that you treat them well. And that is why they targeted you. That is why they chose to stay with you. If you're giving them everything they need, there's no reason for them to leave. It's only when you stand up to them that they know the jig is up and it's time to move on. But up until that point, they will idealize you. They will flatter and praise you. As long as you keep giving in to them, as long as you keep doing what they want, they will tell you they miss you. They will tell you they love you. They will tell you whatever they think you want to hear. Whatever they think will keep you around. They will caress your ego until you let your guard down. Until you decide to give them a chance. Or they may use the push-pull tactic. They may give you breadcrumbs. And then leave you chasing after them for more. They may text you every few hours to make you wonder what they're doing. Or they may leave you on red to make you think you've said something wrong. They will play a lot of mind games to keep you thinking about them. To make you obsess over them. Until they know they've got you exactly where they want you. But once they know they've got you, they don't really want you anymore. They get bored. They lose interest. Especially if you figure them out. If you know what they're trying to do. Then they will completely ghost you. They will stop texting you. Or they may just devalue you. And at this point, they will act like you need them more than they need you, as though you're the one who is hanging on. You can't leave them alone, and they don't really want you. They will say that you're obsessed with them. They will say that you're stalking them. They will say they're busy. They will make you feel like you're crazy like you're doing something wrong for expecting them to communicate with you for expecting them to be how they were before because they used to put you on a pedestal they used to say that you were so nice and you treated them well they used to say that they miss you if you're away for just an hour or two but now you're crazy because they haven't texted you back for several hours they will project their insecurities onto you. They will blame you. They will gaslight you. They will misuse technology. They will use it to abuse you. They will use it to control, monitor and harass you until you start to feel like you're losing your mind because they're telling you something and then they're doing something else and they're making you out to be a problem and a nuisance when they're the ones who are initiating it. They're the ones who refuse to live in harmony with you.
Eventually, they will just tell you to stop texting them. They will use threats and intimidation. They will threaten to block you. They will threaten to expose you. They will threaten to get you fired from your job. They will deny anything you say about them. They will act like they haven't done anything wrong. Or that they were justified in doing what they did. They will become self-righteous, as though they're totally correct and morally superior. They will take on the authoritative role and treat you like they're subordinate. They will withhold whatever they think you want from them until you feel like you don't even know who they are anymore. You feel like someone has hijacked their phone, like someone is messing with your mind. Because it's like you're dealing with a completely different person. With a person who is nothing like the one you originally met. But even if you do stop texting them, eventually they will hoover you. When you stop thinking about them, when you move on with your life, they will text you again, even after everything they said about you and everything they've done to you. They will come back like nothing happened, like they never meant the things they said or did. And they will expect you to go along with it. They will text you, hey, or how are you? Because they're just looking for a response. They want to know if you're still emotionally invested in them. If they still have power over you. If they can still get you to come back. But they're just toying with you. They're playing a game. They're playing cat and mouse. They're not really serious about you. They just want to see where you are in the mind. The best you will ever get from a narcissist is an illusion, a fantasy. And they know how to play their role. They've had years of practice. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Let me know the text messages that you have received in the comment section below. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.